All right, folks, uh, for today's Gimme Five on this historic day, I want to play for you a historic, historically pathetic, dishonest, robotic performance by Senator Cory Booker, who, by the way, is a U.S. Senator, thanks to Chris Christie. That's another story. Um, I guess he was actually drinking the Kool-Aid while he was on the air, while the camera was off him. I don't know. I mean, I never saw anything like this. Cory Booker is a lightweight a lightweight in every respect, and he proved it with Brianna Keeler on CNN. Watch. If Hillary Clinton were to be formally charged with a crime, should she step aside in favor of Bernie Sanders or even Vice President Biden? Well, first of all, that's just not going to happen. I think we've already seen a lot of the evidence and the fact, uh, facts here. The emails have come out. Uh, today's interview is not something to signal that. This is something that she voluntarily did that last summer she really wanted to do. Uh, so I think this is something that's just routine, and we're going to be seeing an investigation closing up. And I think she, like most Americans, wants this thing uh, to be concluded and move, so we can move beyond it and focus on the real issues of this campaign. He's going to repeat that a million times. By the way, that was on Sunday before uh, today's uh, announcement by Comey. Uh, Brianna Keeler keeps it up. Watch. But technically, it could happen. And if it did, should she step aside? Well, again, technically, you and I could be uh, uh, as well uh, uh, investigated. Probably so more so likely if we were being <laughs> investigated that we would be indicted. But should she step aside if there is some finding? Well, again, that's something that to me is not even within the realm of possibility. <laughs> Maybe he had a conversation. I mean, these people are just, they, they, he's a robot. He's a shallow, in my opinion, dishonest robot. And, and this was awful. Watch, it gets worse. She's a long-standing professional. She came up through the ranks uh, at the Justice Department. Uh, I think she's handling this right. She did nothing wrong, no violation. And she already said publicly that she's going to abide by the determination of the FBI and the prosecutors that are working on this case. Talking about Loretta Lynch, of course, in her meeting with one Bill Clinton. Uh, and then here she played a little bit of the contradiction in what Loretta Lynch said last week. Watch. I fully expect to accept their recommendations, and I will be accept accepting their recommendations. All right, so based on that, Brianna Keeler asks uh, the senator this. So how can you maintain that you are just accepting the recommendations, and also uh, there is this suggestion that she is the ultimate decider. These seem to be two very different things. I, I think we're really parsing things, that there's a, a, a distinction, but not much of a difference. The reality is this is a professional, lifelong prosecutor uh, who had a conversation with a guy who, frankly, one of the things we love about Bill Clinton, he's probably one of the friendliest people on the planet Earth. They talked about golf and grandchildren in no way undermine the investigation. One conversation from a professional pr prosecutor is going to have no implication on this at all. <laughs> and you could bet he would be the first one running to the cameras after they told him exactly what to say and gave him a drink of Kool-Aid. Uh, if this were a Republican and a, a Republican prosecutor in power making this a decision and meeting with a prospective, you know, conflict of interest witness, one of the things we love about Bill Clinton is he's so friendly. Yeah, Paula Jones thought he was real friendly. <laughs> I mean, this guy is too much. Too much. They talked about their kids and golf. Hey, no problem. No crime. See no evil. Hear no evil. Have any more of that Kool-Aid? More. I'm happy she's staying in the saddle. I'm happy that she's not recu recusing herself. Uh, but she is making sure that she's going to focus on the recommendations of the uh, uh, professionals that are involved here. Why is there a revision, though, coming from her department that she is the ultimate decider instead of backing up her assertion that she's going to accept, uh, accept these recommendations? Right, because after uh, uh, Friday's nonsensical on stage oh i'm going to accept the recommendations blah 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 the justice department issued a statement saying clarification she is the ultimate decider well then everything she said on stage was baloney so you ask that to cory booker and he has no answer for this this wasn't in the in the kool-aid notes so here's what he said 
at a time where we've had global terror, at a time that we have real issues in communities like the one I'm going to be going home to today, this is the kind of things I think more frustrates voters uh, than, than it does interest them. This is a, dis a distinction with barely a difference. The reality is this is a prosecutor who America can trust, who came up through the ranks and is going to do a good job with this case. So that's his defense of Loretta Lynch. She came up through the ranks. What the H-E double toothpicks does that mean exactly? She came up through the ranks? Couldn't they put, give you something better than that? I know you can't think on your own. Couldn't they give you something better than that? They can, so they came up through the ranks. She came up through the ranks, so she's clean. Bill Clinton, he wasn't doing anything nefarious on that plane. Why? Because that's what America loves about him. He's so friendly. You've got to be kidding me. And this is what they get away with. How could anybody in their right mind who loves this country listen to that, come away from that, and say, you know, he's right. She's great. Bill's great. Hillary's great. I'm voting for Hillary. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Take a look in the mirror if that's what you're thinking because, I don't know, maybe you've been drinking the Kool-Aid too.